Hi there and welcome to Joe Goods Workbench. This one will be a quick video in my CNC3040 series and one where I don't discover new damages, I promise. I am now ready to put the frame back together. Ok, almost. There is one little thing that I want to check before reassembly. These are the Y axis bearing blocks. After the disaster with the X axis block I want to check them to make sure that the bearings are a good fit. They are held in place with retaining rings and a plastic spacer in the middle. And the good news are the bores look fine. But the bearings are a fall through fit. I can easily move a piece of thin paper between bearing and hole. The paper is 500 of a millimeter thick, which tells me that there is a gap of 25 thousandths of a millimeter around the bearing. That would probably be ok, but the way this machine is designed turns it into a problem. There is only one lead screw in the middle that moves the bridge back and forth. For this demonstration I leave the screws here loose. When I push the bridge in the middle it moves evenly. But when there is any resistance away from the center the bridge experiences a rotational force. Any slack in the bearings allows the bridge to rotate and that reduces the accuracy of the machine. I will do two things to improve the situation. I will add grip screws that hold the bearings in place. And I will place the bearings a bit different. At the moment the bearings are in contact with the shaft on a length of about 7 cm. That length affects how much the bridge can rotate for a given bearing side play. A wider contact range would make the bridge more stable. And so I will place the bearings so that they stick out on both sides. That increases the range where they touch the shaft to about 9 cm. I mark the grip screw holes so that they are in the middle of the bearings. Some drilling, tapping and the burring later I have some nice M4 grip screw holes in my blocks. The burrs on the inside are removed using a small drum sander. I put the bearings in place and tighten the screws. Both bearing blocks are now a nice tight fit on the shafts and I can put them back into the frame. As described in my previous video, my shafts are out of straight by a bit and I turn them so that the high spots point up. Then I get the frame square and tighten all screws. There's a handy gap in the front plate that has room for my screws that protrude a bit from the bridge plate. That allows me to push the plate against the front to make sure that it is parallel to the edge. I tighten the screws while I am holding the plate against the front. Now I can mount the side plates. I file away a bit from the bottom edges of the plates and give them a light chamfer so that they fit nicely in between the sides of my modified bridge. Then I test fit the X axis shafts and the bearing block. That feels very solid and nothing rattles. I still need to fine tune the screw positions and make sure that everything is square and parallel. But the rest of the assembly will be for another video. Next time I will tackle some of the electronics modifications that I am planning. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and see you next time.